my channel. This is Dr. Daniel Sugai, board certified dermatologist. Thank you again for subscribing, guys. This is really great growth. I'm really touched by the engagement, the comments. I love the respect, the positivity, and the inspiration. So thank you. Uh, today I'm going to be com uh, commenting on Walmart's brand Equate, just specifically their moisturizing cream. But do not worry, I do have their hydrating cleanser and also their gentle lotion. And I'll be comparing it to Cetaphil. That will be part of the Dr. Sugai Compare series. For now, this is kind of a teaser, a little taste of what's to come, but this is the focus just specifically on Walmart's brand, uh, Equate. Equate Beauty is, uh, is at, found at Walmart, just like uh, Target has the up and up, it's up and up, or up, up. Um, but it's Equate Beauty and they say compared to Cetaphil. Cetaphil has always been a great brand in my mind. I'm not paid by them, but I do like them for patients with sensitive skin who need a nice cleanser. Cetaphil does a great job with their cleansers and I'll be talking about those down the line. Also their moisturizers are great for kids, for adults. Dry skin is such a common thing in the winter, the fall, springtime in Seattle. So if you're in a cold climate, you know, moisturizer is something you need to consider. Me being from Hawaii, I wasn't in need of moisturizers a lot because of the humidity, but you know, in terms of being in a tropical weather, you should be using a moisturizer at times too because you can get dried out and you still see eczema and psoriasis in Hawaii um, in need of additional moisture through the moisturizers and also moisturizers that would trap in moisture that you picked up from the shower or bath. So Equate Built Beauty Gentle Skin Cream, fragrance free and paraben free. So those are you know two two pluses. Parabens, uh, just a re really quick uh, discussion on parabens. Parabens get a bad has a bad reputation because it has been found in breast cancer tumors and the tissue samples they have found parabens in them, and it is uh, postulated that they can uh, behave like the estrogen hormone. So there are worries that small traces of it in your skincare products, can it cause breast cancer? That is still controversial. There's no clear link from the literature that can link the topical application of parabens to, uh, over your skin causing systemic absorption and thus leading to um, estrogen-related estrogen, uh, tumors like breast cancer. That is still uh, up in the air. So we're going to keep you, I'll be keeping you updated if I hear anything, any change in the literature on that. But in terms of just feeling better about having no pra uh, parabens in your creams, huge, right? So it's just like, I compare it to like chemical sunscreens. The chemical sunscreens, the FDA can't, um, can't say that it's, it's, it, uh, it's dangerous, but it, we do know that it gets absorbed into our bloodstream. What does that mean down the road, long-term? We don't know. Um, so same for uh, parabens. The FDA hasn't banned parabens, uh, that, uh, but it, uh, we don't know what it does ultimately. So we still have to study that. Parabens, that is used in skincare products as a preservative to preserve, especially things like this, a jar where you stick your finger in and you wanna per, uh, preserve it uh, shelf life wise and also uh, keep bacteria or fungus out of your skincare products. Uh, so this is a good start, just seeing that on the label. Directions, apply liberally as needed as directed by a physician. Typically, I say give, put this over uh, your skin after a shower. So you might see my other video on dry skincare tips, eczema, psoriasis, patients with just dry skin, or we call xerosis. It's very important to trap in and lock in moisture from the shower or the bath. So what you would do is dry skin practices is take a, a short shower, less than 10 minutes. Don't use really hot scalding water. Use gentle soaps, preferably no fragrance or scent. Also, uh, like Irish Spring being very scented, smells very nice, but it is very harsh on your skin. Avoid over exfoliating or scrubbing because you don't want to break the skin barrier further and allow bacteria, fragrances to get in and irritate your nerves that are exposed from the cracks. You don't want to irritate that um, your skin barrier. So to repair it, when you get out of the shower, while your skin's moist, you're just going to pat dry. While your skin's still moist, you want to put a layer of moisturizer over your body um, to lock in that moisture. This 
uh, has a nice ingredient uh, after water, it says glycerin. So glycerin is a humectant ingredient that you want in your moisturizer, that humectant meaning it draws in water and retains it, like hyaluronic acid. Glycerin is a nice example of a humectant. Right after glycerin is the ingredient petrolatum. Petrolatum is nice, it's found in my favorite petroleum jelly products like Aquaphor, Vaseline, it can be a bag bomb. Uh, petrolatum is nice, but it does have lanolin in petrolatum based products. So you gotta be careful of lanolin, although the prevalence supposedly of allergic contact dermatitides from lanolin is only 1% about in the studies. So this has petrolatum and, I will exp and I'll even talk about, I'm not surprised uh, that it has petrolatum. I actually would have guessed it had petrolatum before even looking at the ingredient list, just by the way I felt when I, when I used it. Um, it has sweet almond oil, which is used in, uh, commonly used in moisturizers um, as well. And it has tocopherol acetate, which is a vitamin E anti antioxidant that you find in sunscreens, cleansers, um, moisturizers. I did mention in the Elta MD video, tocopherol acetate being in it, um, I wouldn't fear that being in moisturizers from what we know. You know, you hear a lot about tocopherol being in vaping, um, causing bad lung damage or deaths related to vaping. You know, it, it being in a moisturizer, it's vitamin E, it's an antioxidant, mean, meaning it battles free radicals that you get from sunlight, pollution. Um, so let's open this bad boy up. So if you look at it, kind of everything shifted to the side and comes out pretty thick. I'm gonna do a little bit on the back of my hand. Has a shine to it, rubs in fairly well. Pretty silky. I'm impressed for it being much cheaper than Cetaphil. Ingredient list we'll talk about in the compares video upcoming. Feels good. Now, true test is let's see how it is on my hands. Uh, yeah, I can definitely feel the petrolatum in this. It's feeling a little heavier. No fragrance, no smell to it. Ah, oh, I like it. This is good. Okay, leaves a little bit of a residue. Feels a little heavy on my hands. But if I work it in, let's see if it gets better. Something kind of calming and soothing about this. Twist the lid test here. Still able to function and do things with my hands. Good. All right. So yeah, I think this is a good, a, a very good alternative to Cetaphil. The price on Amazon for Cetaphil I'll put right here versus what I purchased at Walmart. Um, I purchased this with my own money. So this is um, a nice moisturizer to consider for baby skin. Very gentle. You want to avoid fragrances as much as possible, especially if you have sensitive skin, eczema, atopic dermatitis, psoriasis. We don't want to give any excuse to irritate the skin and skin barrier. Our main goal is to prevent you from scratching further over itchy, dry skin because scratching or over exfoliating will break the skin barrier further. The Walmart, yeah, they get a bad rap sometimes. Customers that go in to see, go into Walmart wearing just their pajamas, don't care about how what they're wearing. You know, Walmart, pretty good job. I, I'm actually impressed with this. Dr. Sugai gives it a thumbs up. I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10. Has some room for improvement. Real quick, the positives, no fragrance, no parabens. No, um, it, it does have petrolatum and glycerin. Petrolatum being an occlusive ingredient that helps seal in moisture. Glycerin being a humectant that draws in moisture, has vitamin E in this, and feels nice. It rubs in very well. It does have a nice 
lightweight feel, but also at the same time, it feels a little heavy, so you know it's there. It's a petrolatum that I'm feeling um, that makes it feel a little heavier. Having it on my hands, that's a real great test is I'm still able to work and twist lids off uh, without feeling too slippery um, or greasy or feeling like I'm sticking onto things, okay? Cons would be that there aren't other ingredients that I'd like, like niacinamide, um, hyaluronic acid, those things are nice. Hyaluronic acid being a sugar that draws in water and also niacinamide being vitamin B3 that can um, be anti-inflammatory. But if you want something just very plain and simple, this is a this is a good thing. So I don't want to I don't want to um, badmouth this in any way. Seven point five is solid in my book. Okay. Or I guess with our with our new uh, rating system, I've heard Shaka is kind of um, a, been a preferred uh, rating system over my face. So if we were to do the Shaka system here, I'd say a, um, a, I'll give it a three and a half to four stars right here, or three and a half to four Shakas. It is gentle, so I say it's a solid solid um, moisturizer. I'll compare it to. Cetaphil and see if the price is uh, worth it. You know, the increase in price. Is the texture the same? Are the ingredients the same? I'll go over that in a video that we release very soon. Okay, guys, so the battle between Cetaphil and Equate Beauty will be coming up soon. Dr. Sugai compares. Uh, that's a new series that we're going to launch. And um, in terms of Moisturizers, we'll be shifting from sunscreen to moisturizers as the weather changes from uh, in, in about September, October, when it starts to get cooler. That's when I see people start to flare uh, with their eczema or psoriasis with the weather change. So um, stay tuned for more moisturizer videos uh, as the seasons change. We'll be changing the topics based on um, the time of the year. All right, guys, so be well, take care. Thank you for subscribing again. Please like this video, share it with your friends who are in need of a moisturizer and they want something affordable. This is a great uh, alternative from what I can say right now, but stay tuned for the comparison video. Take care, peace.